This is Dr. Brendan Cronin from the Queensland Eye Institute, demonstrating the technique of Bowman's membrane onlay grafting, which is used for diseases of the cornea, where the cornea is weak or ectatic, either due to keratoconus, pellucid marginal degeneration, radial keratotomies or other conditions. What I'm demonstrating here is just how tough Bowman's membrane is. This is a donor cornea that's been mounted on a special little device for me to be able to peel off Bowman's membrane, which is at the front of the eye. And what I'm showing is that the Bowman's has been stained blue to visualize it, it clears up, that blue disappears quickly, but Bowman's is a very tough, very strong part of the eye. You can see here that's been trephinated into a little six millimeter disc, and I'm gonna place this on top of the patient's cornea. The epithelium or the skin of the eye needs to be removed before this is done. That can be done with a laser or generally just wiping it away. And you can be asleep while the procedure happens. You don't need to know anything about what's happening to your eye. The Bowman's membrane is placed on top of the eye. Very occasionally a stitch or a suture will be used to hold it in place. But most of the time a bandage contact lens is just placed on top of the eye. And that Bowman's membrane integrates into your cornea and adds that extra bit of rigidity and structure that your eye needs to maintain a better shape and to at least facilitate either better vision from the procedure itself or further procedures to uh, facilitate better vision. You can see here a contact lens is placed over the eye. The eye is quite uncomfortable for a few days because of that removal of the epithelium on the surface. You keep both clo eyes closed for a few days and recover fairly quickly.